Thanks for stopping by the Art of Cap Service channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace CV boots on our latest 400 and 450 ATVs. This procedure may also apply to earlier ATV and side-by-side -side models. As always, be sure to check your appropriate service manual. The tools required for this project are rubber mallet, ball peen hammer, circlip pliers, special boot clamp pliers, punch, and an awl. As you can see, we've already removed our drive axle and have secured it in a vise. Our first step is going to be to remove the CB boot clamps. We'll use an awl and a ball peen hammer to remove the inboard CV boot clamps. We'll go ahead and remove the larger one and slide the smaller one down the drive axle. The next step is to access the inner CV joint circlip. To do that, we need to pull the boot back. Now that we've gained access to the large circlip, use an awl on the open end of the circlip to remove. Now that the circlip has been removed, we can slide the inboard CV joint off the drive axle. Now that the inboard CV cup has been removed, we've wiped some grease away to access our snap ring. Using snap ring pliers, remove it. To help aid in removal of the ball bearings and cage, use a rubber mallet. Once removed, make note of the orientation of the assembly. Now that we have the ball bearings removed, we can go ahead and replace our inboard CV boot. Just a quick note before we install our boot clamps, depending upon which side the drive axle came from, it is a good rule of thumb to place the tail end of the clamp away from the rotation of the drive axle. This may help prevent trail debris from accidentally releasing the boot clamp. Install the small boot clamp first. You'll be using a new boot from the boot kit. For demonstration purposes, we'll be reusing our boot. To identify the correct orientation of the ball bearing assembly, place the recess side outward. Use a rubber mallet to fully seat the ball bearing assembly to the drive axle. Using a snap ring from the boot kit and snap ring pliers, reinstall the snap ring. Using the grease packet from the boot kit, Articat recommends applying about two thirds of the packet to the inboard CV joint assembly. Liberally apply grease to the ball bearing assembly and to the inside of the CV joint. For demonstration purposes, we'll be bypassing this step. Apply the CV joint to the ball bearing assembly. Using a new snap ring from the boot kit, go ahead and install it to the inside portion of the CV joint. and make sure it snaps into place. Now we can go ahead and pull our CV boot up onto the inboard CV joint and position it over the recess in the cup and also position it over the recess in the shaft. That will give us our correct locations for our clamp. Using the special boot clamp pliers, install both clamps to the axle. Now that we have our new boot and clamps installed, go ahead and clean the axle of any excess grease. Flip the axle over to service the opposite side. Securely place it in the vise. To service the outboard CV boot, use an awl and or punch to remove both your clamps.
to remove the outboard CV joint. Pull this CV boot back and slide it down the axle. Go ahead and wipe away some of the grease from the carrier or the base of the CV joint. Then using a punch and ball peen hammer, strike here to remove from the dry axle. Remove the outboard CV joint. Now remove your outboard CV boot. Slide the old clamp off. You'll be using the new boot, snap ring, and boot clamp. For demonstration purposes, we'll be using the old ones. Install the small boot clamp to the drive axle, the boot to the drive axle. Now install the outboard CV joint to the drive axle by aligning the splines. Use an awl to help guide the snap ring into position. Use a rubber mount to fully seat the CV joint back onto the drive axle. Give it a slight pull just to double check that it's fully seated. Using the grease packet from the boot kit, Articat recommends applying about one third of the packet to the outboard CV joint ball bearing assembly. For demonstration purposes, we'll be bypassing this. Slide your CV boot up onto the CV joint. Verify the small clamp side of the boot is in the recess of the axle. Then position your clamps onto the CV boot. Using the CV boot clamp pliers, go ahead and secure the, the clamps to the boot. Go ahead and remove the axle to thoroughly clean it of any excess grease. Thanks for checking out our video on how to replace CV boots. If you like this video and like to see more, please subscribe below.